and thank the Lord <clears throat> for his many blessings yeah. that he has <laughs> just showered us with. I give him praise this evening. I thank the Lord for Brother Willie going down in Jesus' name on yes. Sunday. Hallelujah. And Brother Willie, let me encourage you. It's a day by day walk. Amen. Yeah. Just, just focus on Jesus and seek after him every day, one day at a time. That's all I'm asking of you, Lord. Just give me the strength to make it today. And then tomorrow when you wake up, you pray and you ask the Lord for strength for tomorrow and take it a day at a time. And before you know it, you will be a mighty warrior for the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I, I can see, as your pastor, I can see what God is going to do in your life. I do. I, I see it already. I've seen it a long time ago. So just, just trust him and take it one day at a time. Don't yes. try to project what you're going to do tomorrow or next week or the following week. One day at a time. Lord, if I can just serve you today, you just give me the strength to serve you today, I'll be just fine, and you will. Welcome to everyone, everybody in Zoom. God bless you. It's good to have you tonight with us, and we're grateful to the Lord that you're there. We have a really, really nice Zoom audience, and I'm grateful for that. It's nice to see you in the house tonight, Sister Valerie. It's been a little bit of well, since I've seen you, it's good to have you in the house tonight and everyone else that's here. Sister Trish, we're praying for you. We know that you lost your sister and I don't know if everybody in Zoom knows that, but Sister Trish lost her sister um, on Sunday. Sister Deborah is going home to be with the Lord. And so if you didn't know, I'm telling you tonight, so when you pray, Remember to pray for Sister Trish. Amen? Amen. Sister Julia, I don't know if you're there, if you still wanted to say something. If you do or you don't, it's all right. If you do, just here's one minute going once, twice, three times, it's gone. Amen? Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. It's a blessing to have the privilege to give God thanks and praise for his marvelous work and yes. power. God is good to us. He's good to me and I'm grateful for his keeping power. Amen. Amen. Tonight, tonight I want to speak to you briefly. I don't know how briefly, but I'd like to say a few words to you by the leading of the Holy Ghost. Lord Jesus, we thank you this evening for your loving kindness. We thank you for your grace, for your patience, for everything that you do for us. We are grateful. I thank you because I know that you are a prayer answering God. And I thank you for the gift of faith that exists in this ministry through yes. Sister Elizabeth. Lord, you have gifted her with the gift of faith. And, and so many times you've used her, not just in the house, but on her job. And we thank you, Lord. That's a privilege. Yes, we thank you for it. We know that when we ask, whatever we ask, believe in, it shall be done yes. unto yes. us. You said we should ask you and you will do it. Whatsoever we ask in your name, believe in, you said in your word, I will do it. And we're yes. grateful tonight for doing it for us, Jesus. We thank you for Sister Dana, who is recuperating. I pray that you do it for her. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Do it for her. Thank you for taking Sister Patsy and Sister Ferguson over to dangerous airways. Thank you, Lord. You will do it for us. All we have to do is ask. 
And since we know that you're not a God that lies, we know that you will do it. So we thank you this evening. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for my brother's healing, Lord. I thank you for that. I'm leaving you for the waters is healing. I thank you for Sister Julie's healing. Thank you for Sister Stubblefield's healing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give you praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. I would like to I would like to talk with us for a moment this evening. <clears throat> if I would take a subject, it would be partakers of the divine nature. The divine nature that means the nature of god we are partakers of it amen why you say that pastor we are we are partakers of the divine nature of god because he has saved us and and um, he's given us this glorious hope that we have and he is going away to prepare a place for us that where he is, we will be also. And the same spirit that raised him from the dead, we are now partakers. We are a part of that. We, it, 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 the spirit lives in us. So that make, it makes us joint heirs. That makes us a part of him. If, if 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 um if uh, are you in times gone um when I would make big dinners and and everybody would sit down at the table and everybody was so happy because it was so much food and and I was saying to somebody during the holidays that I remember the days when I would make ten sweet potato pies and four peach cobblers and Sister Tracy would bring a, a coconut cake and we would sit down to, to eat, especially when my husband was around, especially, and 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 we would partake. We 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 part we partook of the food that was provided for us when well, Jesus came and he went to the cross and he died for us so that we may have a part of this glorious salvation that he came to die, that we would be a part of that. We would have access to that. We can, we can, we can, we can eat and we can drink and we can fellowship, we can praise him, we can worship him and, and in spirit and in truth, and we are a part of him and we can feel it moving in our hearts. We are we're just grateful, even though sometimes we struggle. We, even though we know that it's so powerful, we struggle daily to serve the Lord because we are not realizing the true power of the Holy Ghost or the God that we are serving and we forget or we, 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 have, not com we have not comprehended the fact that he is living in us and we are partaking of this wonderful salvation, the salvation that, that comes to give us the hope of eternal life. And so we, we, we struggle with, with some of us, I guess from time to, night, to, time to time, all of us struggle with serving God or being close to him, as close to him. And, and when the enemy comes in like a flood, sometimes we, we forget the power of the Holy Ghost that's given to us. And we know that when he comes in like a flood, the spirit of God that lives in us will lift up a standard against him. And so no matter what he comes with or what he tries to bring or what he tries to, to, to distract us with, we already have the power to overcome that. And I would love for us going into 2022 to get to know and recognize the power that lives in us is divine 
power lives in us. God himself, God, the almighty God, the creator of the universe, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator, the one who created us, the one who made us. If you think about the intricacy of the body and how you ever look at your hand and wonder, well, how come God knew he should give us fingernails? The power of God, the creative power, the creative power of God lives in us and come 2022, my Lord, 21 went so fast, come 2022, I want us to become more aware, more focused, more, more, more comprehensive. We get, we comprehend the power of God that the divine power the divine power he has given us everything the power of god comes to transform us into his image that we may become children of him through the holy ghost the power of God lives in us. The power of God that gives us joy and peace and hope. All fear is gone when God comes to live in us. What is there to fear? How, why, why should we fear when he lives in us and he is all power yes. in heaven? And earth, under the earth, in hell. <laughs> He's got power over the devil. Amen. That same power lives in us. The power. Do you know that love is the strongest force? There's no force stronger than love. Love covers a multitude of false my, my love covers all god is love the power of god's love lives in us because god lives in us so this the bible says love your enemy so you expect me to love my my enemy the one that persecutes me the one that despitefully use me pray for them do good to them. Love, he was a fire on your enemy's head. In other words, if you have somebody doing you evil or doing you wrong, and you, you pour love on them, you give them love, it, 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 makes, it melts them down. It melts them down. So the love of God, the enduring love, the eternal love of God that lives in us, the eternal love of God that lives in us gives us the strength to love our enemies. Love of God is eternal. There is power in love. There's power in love. Let's turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And, and we read that. Uh, some of us know that by heart because we've been reading that First Corinthians chapter 13 for how many years now? Four. Years. Four. Ten years? Ten years? Six years? Seven years? <laughs> years. We've been reading First Corinthians chapter 13 because love is eternal. When you have the love of God in you, you, you love. Listen to what, just a few verses, what the Bible says about love. Start with verse 8. Charity never faileth. Love. I'm going to say love. Love never fails. You know what? I'm going to read it, the entire chapter. It's not that long. Though I speak 
were the tongue of men and of angels and have not charity, I become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy, some people are so excited when they get when God gives them the gift of prophecy because they can see and they can tell people, speak into people's lives and, and they can do all, all manner of things and, and, and some people that prophesy of the anointing to lay hands and, and, and with prophecy comes all the gifts. But the Bible says, And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, and faith is a big one, because without faith, it's impossible to please God, but you can have all the faith you want. <laughs> And you can be striving to please God. But if you have all that faith and you're striving to please God, then love should be automatic. It should just ooze out of us. When people come in our midst, they should just feel the love of God that's coming out of us. You can have all that love. So that you to remove mountains so it's possible to be have lots have all that faith and, and knowledge and, 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 and prophecy and understand all mystery and have not charity then there's a possibility that we can do all of that and not have any love or not have the love that we we should have because you know what there are people gifts and callings are without repentance so, so you can be gifted, you can have all the gifts, and it comes without repentance. So if you have all those gifts, all, that, all those manifestations, right? There are people out there that can speak a circle around you and don't know nothing about God, serving the devil. You go to a palm reader. They can tell you some stuff. Look on TV, they, you, I don't know whether they still have that stuff, but they used to have um, people reading, reading you and telling you all kinds of things that, that is true. And don't, don't even acknowledge God because they work out of a different spirit. So you can do, people can do all those things, but it's not of the spirit of Christ because gifts and callings are without repentance. That's what the Bible says. No, what is that? Yeah, that's what it says. So you can have, you can do all those things. And if you don't have charity, don't mean nothing. It means nothing. It means nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor. And though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth nothing, me nothing. So, charity suffers long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity voideth not itself, is not puffed up. So, so let's say, let's say I, I, all in a sudden the devil takes me. This is just, just, because it's not going to happen. I'm just using it as an expression. Say all in a sudden, I, I, I come in one, one, one morning and my face is down to the floor and I'm acting out of sorts. Somebody lay hands on me and rebuke the devil, okay? <laughs> but 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 it, it, without charity, without love, let's let's try to to brush up on our love life. Great light. 
people on Zoom, you're in the house. Let's let's make let's make uh, a, a, a concentrated effort to love one another because you can you can dance and shout and praise God, but if if I come in here mean and looking at everybody crossways and and like like the devil has taken me over. Um, I said earlier, somebody slapped me upside my head and pour some consecrated oil on me and pray for me because I when when that if that would happen and it wouldn't happen because that is not even my nature. Um, then 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 my soul will die and go to hell because I can do all these great and marvelous things. Uh, people out there doing all these great things, but if you don't do it out of the spirit of God's love. It profits nothing. We're talking about the divine nature of God. God's love is eternal. It don't turn on one day. I don't love you today. I can't spend you tomorrow. I don't know. Oh, this. Well, praise the Lord. <laughs> so, so the divine love and, and power, the power of God has love in it. God's, God's spirit is, the Bible said God is love. Is that what it said? God is love. So you can function outside of love and tell me you save and sanctified and you on your way to heaven and so glad. It doesn't work that way. Love is kind. It wanteth not itself. It's not easily, it's not puffed up. It, 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 it doesn't practice ill. Love doesn't do those things. Do I give my body to be burned? Hmm? If I give my body to be burned and have no charity, have not love, it profits me nothing. I can hate you and and because you can't love me if you don't love God. How can how can a man say he loves his brother and, 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 and who he has seen? He loves God and his brother who he has seen. He doesn't care anything about. I don't care about you. You could you go take a take a leap of <laughs> just just go away from me. Alright? And 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 I could give my body to be burned because I love God so much. No, it doesn't work that way. Love, love, love covers multitude of faults or sins you can how many times should i forgive my brother how, how many times seven times 70 70 times seven per day <laughs> how 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 else can we do that if the love of God is not rooted in us, if we are not practicing it, if we are not showing forth our love, we can't forgive our brother. Can't because it takes God's love to. F I know for myself, I've been through some situations in my life. It's only the love of God in me could make me walk up to my enemy that I know is my enemy say how are you today I'm so glad to see you I mean it only God's love can do that they when they when, when I used to be bashed and 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 talked about and mistreated oh my god and mistreated and ill-treated and and the love of God inside of me and say, go over there and give that sister a hug and tell her you're glad to see her. And I said, okay. I walked, get, 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 eat some humble pie. You, ever, you all heard about the humble pie. That is talking about eating humble pie a lot. Okay. And you, you have to eat the humble pie and walk over there with the love of God 
working inside of you and you walk up and look in the person's face and say, it's so nice to see you today in church. Only the, I'm speaking from experience, only the love of God can make us do that, right? But if we have God, we've got that kind of love in us. <laughs> do good to them that despise this fully, who take advantage of it, talk about you like you're a dog, you must do good to them. And love them with your heart. God's love will make you do that. They spat in Jesus' face. They put him on the cross and he said, Father, Forgive these people because they don't know what they're doing. I'm teaching about love tonight. Oh, well, I stopped at love. I don't, God knows. But you, we have to get to that point where if you see your enemy coming and you know that they ought to get you. You know that they're talking about you. You sometimes write in church. That's where my persecution was, in church. I didn't have no uh, associate with anybody in the world, so to speak. In church, that's where God made me and gave me, I would, I, I don't want to sound presumptuous, but I would say the gift of love. God's divine nature, when we have God's divine nature in us, when we are striving to, to, to possess and, and to manifest and to show forth the divine nature of God in love, through love, that's the first attribute that we have to work on. That's, that's, that's the first attribute that we have to work on. Because guess what, saints? God has given us everything that we need to possess his divine nature. God is love, first of all. God is love. I must love my enemies. I must love those who despitefully use you use me i must love those who persecute me i must love my enemies i must love my neighbor as myself we must learn to share the divine nature of god in our daily walk how many times must i forgive my brother how many times must I forgive the one that, that makes me feel like dirt? How many times a day? So that my light can shine and the glory of God, the nature of God can be seen through me. In humility, humble ourselves. We must humble ourselves in order to take on the divine nature of Christ Jesus. We must humble ourselves. Jesus Christ walked in humility. How else you think that they could do all that they did to him if he didn't humble himself to, as to the death, to go to the death on the cross? He walked in humility. So when they were beating him, he didn't say a mumbling word because he humbled himself. He made himself of no reputation. He wasn't high and mighty like some of us. You know, some of us, we have already arrived and, 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 and we, we are there. Better humble yourself and try to get some love down in your soul.
we must practice. We must learn. We must develop. We have to develop the Christian virtues to love. Love is number one. Love is eternal. You can't make, I used to tell people, you can't, you can't, you can't, nobody can tell me anything. You can't even make me stop loving you. And, and, and I mean that. I'm just using myself as an example. I am not high and mighty. I, go, I went through a lot. <laughs> I went through a lot to have this love that's, uh, and I'm still being perfected in it because ever so often the enemy come and press my button, okay? And he knows how to press your buttons, right? He does, he knows how to press our buttons. He knows how to get to us. He, he's, he's good at that. He, um, so I'm still being perfected in that. I'm not so perfect in it that the enemy don't press my button and I go, for real? <laughs> but after I say for real, I said in my mind, if I don't say it out loud, I said, Lord, forgive them. Because they just don't know. Because if people recognized who you were or whose you are, then they wouldn't they wouldn't let the enemy use them to press your button. Especially when he already knows that you're going to say, Lord Jesus, that's crazy. They didn't mean to do that. Give them the benefit of the doubt. If somebody hurt you, right? If, some, if the devil tried to use somebody to ruffle your feathers, okay, or well, maybe upset you, if the enemy uses somebody, anybody, he uses anybody, he don't care. If you allow yourself to be used, he will use you. So suppose the enemy causes somebody to forget themselves. That's why I say I use that term too. They forgot them themselves. They didn't look at, they weren't thinking. If the enemy used somebody to ruffle your feathers and, and you, you feel this thing that's not of the nature of God, stir up in you then you hurry and you get yourself together and you said oh my goodness they just didn't know i'm a child of the king you know the what the bible says touch on my anointed and the prophet no harm so if somebody feels the, the inkling to come and ruffle your feathers or or speak ill against you treat you badly it's just because they don't know because if they knew elder harris they wouldn't do it they will do it. So it's up to us to let the glory and the nature of God comes comes to us and said, but maybe it's all right because you 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 don't know. You don't you don't have a clue who you're bothering. Because if you did, you wouldn't bother me. So I forgive you right now. And that way you can forgive, you can forgive 70 times seven in one day. Because unforgiveness and go in there. It's hard to say. But you can be saved, jumping up and down, talking about how safe you are. And if the power of love is manifesting through you, you're nothing. You can give your body to be burned, but you're nothing. Because um, love is, is eternal. Love love doesn't, doesn't want itself. It, it's not puffed up. Well, she, Sister Teresa, Sister Teresa talked, talked about that song, didn't she? Oh my goodness, that just came to my mind. Yeah, vengeance. Ven Lord. Vengeance is mine, the Bible says, and I will repay. You don't have to, you don't have to get upset. Just, just pray for them, love them. He calls a fire in their head. And, and let the virtue, the, 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 the virtue, the Christian virtue, the, the eternal love of God that is supposed to dwell in us. Charity suffers long. That's why the Bible says, 
70 times 7 in one day. How much is that? 406. 490 times a day. You know you got to have some love to do that. To forgive your enemy 470, 490 times a day. 490 times a day. My brother offends me or somebody offends me and I say, it's cool, everything is all right, I'm good. You don't have to worry about it. I forgive you. That takes a that that that. Like I said before, it takes the love of God to be able to do that. Amen. So that we can walk so that we will have a fruitful, fruitful, the fruit of the spirit will manifest itself in us. The fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, kindness, gentleness, meekness, meekness, meek, a person who is meek. People, people misunderstand people who are meek. They, they tend to take advantage of because they think they don't know any better meekness and you just oh it's all right yeah it's all right no it's all right it's it's all right who am i talking to tonight start saying it's all right i'm i'm good I, i'm good it's all right i will love you anyway i don't care what you do to me yeah. i will love you anyway it's all right you say it's all right so many times. They think she's stupid. Oh, it's always all right. How come I can't ruffle your feathers? <laughs> you know, why is it always all right? I'm supposed to be able to ruffle your feathers. No, I've got God's love living in me. Eternal love. I'm not going to get any farther than that tonight. Because it's quarter, almost quarter after eight. And we need to pray. But eternal love, let it let love, charity. When you read First Corinthians chapter 13, do just sing it. My, my mother used to say, slow down, stop singing it. Read it slowly. Take every word into consideration. Lord, do I have love? Do I, am I sounding brass? You hear that sound? Do you hear John, just John Tay in there playing the drums and, and he, he, he slams on those cymbals. I know how it feels because my children had, we had drums at home and, and my children are drummers. My grandchildren, my children, my grandchildren. So, so the, the charity is like a brass. If you don't have it, that's how you come across. Amen. The, the, the divine love, power, love is powerful. Love is eternal. God's love. Don't get an upset. God's love. Don't talk about one another. God's love don't backbite. Okay, there's a difference if you discussing a situation to pray about it or you're asking somebody to pray with me about something, right? That is different from getting together with somebody and, 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 and slaughtering somebody. Some people, some people can kill you with their tongue. Take away all, all the goodness from you. Or, or nobody in greater light does that. And I know about it. You don't talk about your brother. You pray for them. You love them. You, you, if somebody, if you find your brother is overtaken in a fall, restore such a one considering yourself. 
Because you are not so big that the same thing that you're bashing somebody about can happen to you. So you don't talk about people's situation if you know somewhat, something about somebody. You, you, if you're talking about it to pray, so you pray with me about this person so that God will deliver them from this situation. That's different. I don't think I've ever said that before, have I? But if you, if you get on the phone and start gossiping, shame on you. Shame on you. You restore such a one with the spirit of meekness, considering yourself. Don't nobody in greater life bash anybody. Oh, God must know. No, we don't do that in this ministry. This is a safe place. You don't come to me and confide in me and hear it over the pulpit. Ain't no way. So nobody else should. We're, Lord, you know. We're getting ready to start start up the, 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 the prayer partners again. If you get a prayer partner and that person have a problem and come to speak with you, then you best zip your lips and not tell anybody somebody else's business. That ain't how it flows here. I don't know why I'm saying this is the <laughs> No. Consider yourself that you could be overtaken in a worse situation than the person you're talking about. And pray to God you're not in a worse situation. Ask somebody to pray for you. But no, we don't bash here. We don't talk about people's business. We don't, we, we don't, we're not a gossiping church. And if you want, if, if somebody wants to gossip, just don't let me hear about it. Or God wake me up in the middle of the night and show me something. Because that's something I, I, I don't have any tolerance for. The Holy Ghost doesn't have any dark tolerance for that. We're supposed to love our brothers and our sisters as we love ourselves. This is a this is a family. And, and somebody said, well, mom, family talk about one another. No. No. I have five, five sisters, four sisters now. Yeah, one one died. I have four sisters. Huh? Georgia, Jem, Devine, Julie. Yeah, four sisters. Uh, and um, if, if we all get on Zoom, uh, we all talk. <laughs> we all we all talk about each other's business, and and we pray. Amen. That's what we do. We my prayer partners. I have some others, but my prayer partners are my four sisters. We get on. We can. We get on Zoom three, four times a week and, and we talk about each other's issues or what's going on in our, our lives and we pray for one another. Yes. You don't talk about one another, even if you're family, you, you pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I don't know. God knows. The power of God's love you have the power of God's love. You have eternal love. We have eternal love. The power of God loves, of God's love lives in us and it is eternal. Amen. Amen. I am I am about I have about three pages of that note, those notes left. Maybe next week. God say the same. I will continue. Amen. Amen. Next week we are talk about it's not our power. We can't conjure it up. But his power, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in us. So that means if it dwells in us, his love dwells in us also.
Amen. So, let's start practicing love. The love of God. Let's start practicing the love of God in our everyday life. Not once a week. If your brother has need and you shut up your bowels of compassion against him, how dwells the love of God in you? That's what the Bible says. If my brother has a need and I close up the bowels of my compassion, my love, my God nature against him, what kind of love you have in you? Is it God's love? God bless you.